What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Mob Psycho 100 Season 2 Episode 6 Uh, what happened last time? Mob ended up that having this big battle with that uh, evil spirit, they ended up, I don't know, getting out of it. Like, after the fight was over, they, they left that girl's mind. Um, that one guy from Claw who collected spirits collected that guy, that spirit, Esper, dude, evil spirit, Esper, I don't know. Uh, mob resisted the dark side, I guess you could say. Like, he chose to... What did I say? Look at the glass half full. Like, he's he's taking the route of... He wants to be more appreciative of the, the good things that he has because he saw a world where he didn't have any of those things. So, um, what else? Uh, t -t 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 the girl that he saved, um, she is going... She is changed, I guess you could say. Um, because of her experience with Mob, you know, he's had a positive influence on her. She's going to change her snotty, snooty, whatever you want to call it, stuck-up ways. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. I feel like that was the big stuff. So, yeah. Uh, let's jump into the... Uh, No, I'm not. I, I kind of want my coffee, but I don't want to accidentally spill it, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, let's jump into the reaction, guys. So, doo -doo -doo -doo, what was I going to say? Okay, um, Mob. So I'm proud of him for distancing himself from Reagan and starting to realize that not everything Raisin's, Raisin Reagan says is the truth. Not everything he says is, should be taken as, like, the gospel truth. Or, um, like, uh, not every, not all, uh, all, what am I trying to say? Sometimes Reagan gives good advice, but other times it's just BS to manipulate you into doing his bidding or helping him in some way to, to further himself. And I don't want to say he doesn't care how it affects you, but he doesn't care all that. He doesn't care as much as he should, I guess I could say, or not as much as he could. Um, like, his priority is most of the time himself over you. Not all the time, as we've seen. Um, he jumped in and told Mob, like, it's okay to run away sometimes. It's, I, I'll handle this. You're the child. Like, that's one instance where he was pretty selfless, but most of the time, no. And, like, this whole thing, like, being very inconsiderate of Mob's time in his his social life like he's starting to build a social life he's, he's got a lot of friends now and you're constantly kind of sabotaging that i think because you don't want i think it's because mob is his only friend and he doesn't want to be alone and now that he sees him hanging out with other people spending time with other people he feels threatened although he can't admit that to himself um and so he's just throwing himself into work um, and kind of just suppressing all of that, or like I said, keeping himself busy so that he doesn't think about it. Because clearly it still hasn't clicked for him yet. But, um, but I'm proud of Mob, because you know what, dude? Your priority in life is you. You're number one. You gotta take care of yourself first. Then you can take care of everybody else, because if you're not okay, how the fuck are you gonna take care of someone else? Right? Am I right? So... Reagan so so yeah I think eventually he's gonna have to admit that to himself because now you're on live telev television with a real psychic who's trying to sabotage you uh and you're gonna have to do a live exorcism like you're not gonna be able to do that dude you're you're not it, you you might get lucky and it's it's somebody who thinks that they are possessed when they're really not but mm, there's no guarantee that that's what's gonna be the situation so um, what else? I think, um, I don't know. I feel like I talked about everything. I talked about Mob. 
being proud of him for stepping away, kind of thinking for himself and deciding what he wants to do, what's important to him, um, what he, how he feels about things, um, versus how Reagan has told him to feel about certain things. Um, spending time with his brother, you know, bonding time, that was sweet. And even Dimple, like, you you see that, like, Dimple even sides with Mob on this, like, it was sweet of him, Dimple went to go, like, check in on him, but even Reagan couldn't entice him to sabotage Mob, you know what I mean? Like, I, I know at the end of the day, Dimple, you know, his priority is himself, which is fine, um, but he still, he couldn't, he couldn't be enticed, he couldn't be persuaded to go against Mob and, and... Yeah, like I said, sabotage his, his social life for his own personal gain. He didn't do it. I'm surprised, but in a good way. And I don't know. I just think that it's just... He's acting really pathetically right now. And I... And I mean it in, like, the good sense of... Like, there's a really negative connotation with the word pathetic. But I mean it how, like, how it's actually meant. Like, I pity him. Like, I do. Because I know what it's like. I think a lot of people, I don't want to say everyone, but, because I, I don't want to assume, but I think a lot of people know what it's like to be lonely. And to want, to be selfish and to, to get a little, or really jealous when your friends start to make connections with other people. Like, it's normal, it's okay to feel that way, but it's not okay to, like, guilt trip your friends and, like, try to make them feel bad about making these other connections because there's really, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, you just gotta go out there and you make more connections or... I know it's scary because you don't want them to abandon you and it, it can happen, but... That doesn't make it right to guilt trip your friends. It just, it doesn't. You, you shouldn't feel bad about making other connections with people. There's, so I just feel really, and I feel bad for Ma because it was like, it was a lot of work. It took him a long time and it, it it took him getting over his insecurities to to put himself out there and build these good i don't know you could call them friendships um but like also his relationship with his brother these bonds well, that's a good general term with people like that's scary to put yourself out there it, but he did it, and it worked out. It worked out for him. Like, they even rescheduled. They they took him out to go do karaoke because they knew he was busy the other night. Like, that was that was a, um, a very selfless, considerate thing to do. And it shows that they're thinking of Mob, and they actually consider him a friend. And I like that. That was heartwarming to see. Um, but, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, there was something else. So... Yes, you can be rejected, you can be taken advantage of, you can be um, hurt if you put yourself out there, but he did it. So that's why I'm really proud of him. And I'm happy to see that it paid off. So, th But knowing how hard it was to see Mob get there, seeing Reagan like, guilt trip him and make him feel bad about it, and it just makes me mad because it's such a, it's a good thing. There's no reason he should feel ashamed or feel guilty. Yet you have someone in your life who you think is your friend... Little does he know he's constantly taking advantage of him. But, and it's like, for them to tell you, and someone you, like, look up to a bit, like, and, and to see them act that way, it's just, it's just disgusting. Disheartening. I, I'm just, like, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed in him. I really, he knows Mob doesn't deserve it. I'm just mad. I don't know. Anyway, um, but I'm gonna... I'm going to end it there. So, yeah, if this is uh, YouTube, remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that is in the description below, so please check that out. Uh, follow my Instagram. I've been doing lives on there. Uh, anything else? Subscribe. Subscribe. And put the, put the bell on, please. Because if you if you subscribe... <laughs> I just stuttered so bad like two times in a row. If you subscribe and you hit the bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Okay? Okay. So I noticed I'm not getting many views on these mob videos, so I'm like, hmm. 
how can I boost this? Because I love my mob reactions. Like, I feel like they're really good. And I feel like there's a lot of substance, a lot of good discussions that go on in the show. And honestly, this content for this show, I feel like, is the most relatable of all the content that I put out, of all the reactions that I put out. I think so, at least. But, um, like, universally, I feel like a lot of people just can relate to this more than with other shows. Because it's just so... I feel like the topics or the things that they deal with, the issues are just much more realistic, I guess. Or common. Yeah, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next reaction.